this is part five where I'm developing Surface as a performance tool. Okay, well now it's, it's Thursday evening. I have a technical run through tomorrow evening, which is kind of, for various reasons, the last chance that I have to really work on it, except for Sunday during the day leading up to the event. So I've spent a lot of time today working with uh, Easy Worship because it's not the most intuitive program in the world. And also because it's, it's, a, it's a beta version, there are perhaps some issues in there which are making it harder to pull this together. But then I am sort of bending it to do things that perhaps it was not really intended for, but but there you go. I mean, it's I've got there now and it seems to work very well. But I do have trouble with my um, projection screen because I was using, as I mentioned before, this wonderful push to TV thing so I could go wirelessly from the surface to this, to an array of monitors. But sadly, you cannot use this to convert, or rather you cannot convert this to VGA. I've got a converter here plugged in, and if you plug that into a display, all you get is a blank screen. You cannot do it because it turns out that this little box requires an HDMI signal in order to sort of identify the monitor and uh, get resolution information and all that kind of stuff. So no matter what I do, it just ain't going to work. So I wasted a whole load of time on that. So I'm going to have to put this down a second. Ugh. Going to have to do it directly from the surface with uh, the Mini DV2 HDMI cable. So, I mean, you know, as you can see, my workspace has got increasingly chaotic because I am working under pressure and trying to do a thousand things at once and trying to get stuff to work, which is not always working. So I need to have uh, this plugged into here to give me my HDMI to VGA. This, okay, likes that. That's fine. We need to take, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, I need to take a cable, which that camera is now sitting on. Take the cable into there as a test the right way around. And it also needs power, which is a which is a which is a pain. However, uh, there are spare slots on the hub, which is no problem. But also the power supply for the surface. Let's bring this into shot here. Has this sneaky powering USB point here, which is perfect if I'm not going to use the hub, the dock rather, I should call it. I'm not sure yet. I'm still working on that. But anyway, this needs to be plugged in to give power to the. HDMI to VGA adapter. Okay, that's better. Okay, so we'll look over here on my, my test screen that I've got going at the moment. I now have an extended desktop from here. So that works. That should then go through my, uh, my crazy VGA splitter to go out to all the different screens. That's the plan at this point. But it's taken me a little bit too long today to get to here when I really need to be refining the music and sorting that out. But let's have a quick look into Easy Worship so you can see where we are at. Okay, let's bring up the first slide which goes on there. Brilliantly, do you see that? And one of the, the nice things in here is that it's very touch friendly. I mean, it's not multi-touch or designed to be such, but I can touch on something here and it changes the slide, which is just brilliant. So, you know, there's nothing there. Slide brings in some words, goes away. Very easily uh, on a touch and bring in the next, the next slide. Like so, perhaps now you are seeing the power, the power of easy worship and how that can be, that can be used. I mean, I've got a very complex piece here. 
it all takes a moment. Thank you. You're amazing. You are the architect of love. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of videos which I am Plug us mixing into. together in some kind of montage there. It's called a rear dos. We're not going to worry about that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm perhaps getting slightly manic now, so I need to, to stop this. It does work, which is the main thing, and I need to start refining the music. And also we have Indian food turning up in hopefully about half an hour. So that is going to be awesome. So that's where we are. Still lots to do. Still got to get the launch pad plugged in. Still got to get Ableton Live uh, sorted out and mixed all down to audio so it's simpler to trigger. And uh, I have no time tomorrow. I've, <laughs> I've got to do it now. So uh, half an hour now, food, and then some more after that. And we, uh, and we should, be, should be nearly there, getting there. Cool, right, yeah, cool, right, moving on. Part six, we'll be looking at how everything is coming together.